some toad shot grandpa's body. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me start a little better. Grandpa Newby reporting for duty. We're going to get to that toad in a second. But first, let's look at the weapon we're using. And this is the third in the series of using the paracord grip, this time with an LMG. I chose the Bruin. And let's take a look at the configuration. I always put the Jack Shadow Titan kit on the Bruin. And what it does for me is it creates a lot of green and some red. But let's take a look at the red first. The flinch for the target goes down just a little bit. Effective damage range goes down 30%, but it's still way out there at 21 meters, as is the minimum damage range. Bullet velocity down slightly, and that makes sense because as the range comes in, you probably don't need as much bullet velocity, but the rate of fire, 844 rounds per minute. That's about 14 rounds a second, and if you look at the damage, about a five-shot kill no matter what, then you're talking just under 300 milliseconds, about 285 milliseconds time to kill on a fully healthy enemy. Recoil is improved as is accuracy significantly. Mobility is significantly improved and look at the ADS movement speed. The ADS speed is down to 242 milliseconds. Reload quickness is twice as good. Cut it in half by more than half. Empty reload the same. Sprint to fire 110 milliseconds. Like it's close to pistol sprint to fire, so I expect a lot of good things out of this configuration. This is a composite of all the attachments. And speaking of recoil, let's take a look at the recoil in the shooting range. First, hip fire. You see it goes up and slightly to the right. Pretty much still on point. Now aim down sight. Up. And less slightly to the right. You can see where we ended up. Can we control the recoil? Oh yeah, quite easy. Let's get back to the rest of the configuration. The Bruin 900 grip wrap improves the sprint to fire speed by 24% and the ADS speed in a minor way. It does impact recoil, but we just looked at it. No stock. That improves the ADS movement speed up to 3.4 meters per second for an LMG slash AR. That's pretty good. Crouch movement speed is good. Movement speed is outstanding for an LMG as is ADS speed. That's the main ingredient that gets us down to 242 milliseconds. Another 25% rush roughly sprint to fire improvement and recoil gun kick is up 106 percent but don't let that scare you those numbers they scare away people that aren't as brave as you are because we just saw that you can control the recoil helps with the hip fire and tax stance mark three reflector i had an extra slot so i put on some glass but here is the piece de la resistance the paracord grip all green no red this is why we're doing the video is to test the paracord cord grip on an LMG. You can see that it significantly improves horizontal recoil, helps a little bit with the movement speed and ADS movement speed, and another 21% to the good side of sprint to fire. Let's take this no stock paracord equipped Bruin onto the field of honor. See if we can find that toad that shot grandpa's body. See what it does to the rest of the enemy who are much friendlier and see what it does for grandpa. Let's go. Free for all on dome. I just stay still at the beginning of most free for alls to get my situational awareness up and uh, look for people that try to bulldog the spawns. You always have somebody try to do that. Started out pretty good. Oh, coconut face. Got grandpa there. And it uh, looks like a little bit of lag is kicking in. Up, oh, wounded, go down, drop shot. Where is he? There he is, coconut. F Whoa. He's shooting Grandpa's body. Exotic. That's his name, Joe Exotic. He's shooting Grandpa's body. Well, you know what that means. Grandpa doesn't care whether he wins or lose. He's just going after Joe Exotic. And from this point forward exotic will be erased and he does run fast and he jumps and he jumps sideways and backwards and gets amazing shots but grandpa's hunting them there he is return my greetings there by the way the bruins doing really good 
the sprint to fire speed is awesome as you can see right there ads speed is great what is going on here okay we're healed we can get up up oh, there's joe exotic again no that wasn't him that was a different one but that was him and there's joe exotic all right it's the first revenge for grandpa grandpa's keeping it there's joe exotic look, look how fast he moves second revenge Where is he? Grandpa's getting further behind, but he's only hunting the Tiger King. And anybody who gets in the way. Ah, somebody's just Muppet up there trying to disrupt the hunt for the Tiger King. And Grandpa gets hoisted on his own petard there. Cyber swine got him. So you can see that the Bruin is just absolutely awesome. You're running fast, ADSing quickly. Come on back out. Sprint to fire speed. We can strafe at much better than average. Looking for Joe Exotic. There he is. Got him little greeting there and grandpa doesn't mind if somebody gacks him when he's sending his regards to the tiger king where is he? there he is again he's gone a little more greeting there starting to get a little bit boring he's easier to kill grandpa is gathering his essay trying to avoid oh there's joe exotic again he's gone Somebody, some Muppets camped over there. Almost got Grandpa. Somebody's turning on a lag switch there. I didn't want this one to lag out for sure because Grandpa wanted some more of that Tiger King, some more of that Joe Exotic, and the Bruin was the right LMG to do it. Just a racist people. Fast fire rate, 14 rounds per second. Ooh. Felt him coming. Oh, I think that's Joe Exotic. Look how fast he runs. There he is again. This buddy gets me, but uh, yeah, Joe Exotic was down the tube. And as it turns out, Grandpa's only one or two gacks behind at this point. So the search for Joe Exotic. There he is. Come on. You're. Grandpa's going to get you. You know it's going to happen. I think somebody else got him. Soul Eye Mortal. Joe Exotic is mine. But he's shooting Grandpa from behind. But he escaped him. Now he's turning around and it's Joe Exotic. Grandpa's grown bored with wasting his bullets on a body that's not worthy of it. What's this guy doing? Is that... I don't think that was Joe. Nope. Well, nope. Joe Exotic left. He timed out. He walked away from the game. Don't ever shoot Grandpa's body because he becomes single focus. The fighter pilot going to get you back. And now it's all about trying to win the game. Just two more gacks remaining. We'll throw out the mosquito. There's one, two. Sprint to fire spot, speed, the hip fire, and Grandpa is pumped. Hopefully no ex Joe Exotic in the next one. Actually, I, hope he, I was hoping it'd show up so we could gack him some more. No matter how fast he runs, how high he jumps, or how accurate his shot while he's twisting around. He shot Grandpa's body now. That is a mortal sin. Okay, like I said, just 
at the beginning of free for all kind of wait around see what's happening gain your situational awareness so what we did in fighters we open with a quad feed with a Bruin quad feeds are good in free for all all right cluster mine we'll go make somebody's lives miserable whoa there's another fighter pilot he's getting a jet we're no good on the ground There's somebody just standing there. Doss house is like a charnel house. If you stand still, you're being gacked. Obligatory knifer. And he gets grandpa. Poor shooting on grandpa's part. Grandpa is going to make obligatory knife for him. He is now my school project. I'm off with Joe Exotic. <laughs> Look at that person just shooting left and right with a haymaker. Come on. Putting out the mosquito. There's the fighter pilot. I feel bad about that, but... Oh, Grandpa ate a grenade. So on this very short map, you can see that the, the Bruin just deletes people. I, I don't know why I have not heard more about it. There's the fighter pilot. Another quad feed. Second quad feed in the game. Oh, and I just get absolutely... Melt it. Well, we've got a decent lead. There's somebody coming from the spawn spot. Not a Muppet because he left. Oh, there's a fighter pilot. Oh, Lord. I don't know what that was, but it was awful. It was a proximity mine. There's a fighter pilot. At this point, Grandpa's willing to trade a life for a gag because he doesn't think anybody can catch him. Yeah, and there's the trade. And there's another trade. The Bruin is great on medium range maps in this configuration. It is fantastic on short range maps. I mean, it AR like, but it's more SMG like with the 14 rounds a second and the higher headshot damage. This guy is gonna try to double pistol and fighter pilots after Grandpa and obligatory knifer gets him. Although I think that's non-obligatory knifer because I think that guy gave up shooting. There's one, two, just need one more. Gave up shooting and tried to go to the dark side there. Come on. Oh, nice. He got Grandpa, but... Ooh with a 16 kill lead the Bruin is outstanding I recommend you try it in this configuration let us all know how it does for you in the comment section give me your story about your own Tiger King or Joe Exotic who shot your body and you spent an entire game going for revenge please like and subscribe helps me helps the family peace to you